Okay, I'll introduce you. This is Larry Davis. He's the m most recent, previous president of the gallery. <laughs> what an honor. <laughs> I'd say so. And um, I know you for doing very small work. As a matter of fact, Larry, for many, many years now, uh, every time there is a competition that either you know I also uh, exhibit in, or what others do, or this, that, the other, or whether it's here, or you know, especially so, he always wins. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if he's in, if it's a small works competition. There might be all kinds of different stuff, and then he comes with these little itsy bitsy pieces and wins. <laughs> <laughs> and this, I can see, is from the early work. Yes, this is, um, because this was the anniversary show, I, I became a member in the mid-90s. Um, this, these two images were part of my admitting, admitting portfolio. So I, I submitted these with, I guess, ten others, and the committee accepted me as a full member, uh, the Portfolio Review Committee. And um, what they are, they are Polaroid transfers. Are you familiar with Polaroid transfers? You are. Okay, good. It's uh, they sort of don't make the film anymore for this. If they do, I'm not aware of it because I don't do them anymore. But um, the trick that I did, the Polaroid transfer were very popular at that, uh, that time. But most people were showing them um, in color and full frame. So they were approximately three by five, three and a half by four and a half, whatever the 669 film was. Uh, they were very popular, and after a while, I, I, I wanted to do it, but I didn't want to do it the way everybody else was doing it. So what I did was, um, my original images were 35 millimeter slides in black and white. I used a film called Scala. It's a wonderful black and white film. Unfortunately, they don't make it anymore. Um, it's a black and white transparency film. Transparency film, yeah. So I, I took the black and white uh, slide, put it in the a machine that copied the uh, slides onto Polaroid film, which was color film. Uh, their black and white film could not transfer, it just didn't work. So you can only do it with color film. So what I was actually doing is making a color copy of a black and white slide. But because of the emulsion in the Polaroid film, you mean we came out this color. And I was thrilled, this, this, was, this was always the look that I was looking to do. And uh, to, to make it even more unique, I didn't show them the full frame, I cut them down to two inches by two inches. And I did achieve a lot of success with it. Um, the uh, NYU used to do a uh, small works uh, competition, it was mixed media. And like Lawrence said, <laughs> I always got in, it was amazing. Sometimes I, I did get awards, sometimes my picture sold. Um, I think I was in it for uh, 12 out of 13 years. One year I didn't get in. I just figured it was a bad trip. <laughs> and then they stopped doing it. So uh, I, I miss it. I miss it. Uh, any questions? I really like the one with the horse. Great. Um, That's not mine. Is it not yours? <laughs> just these two. <laughs> these are great. Uh, she's been a member for many, many years. Uh, you may have seen her. She was the little lady with the derby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are hers. Okay. She's yeah, I was really, going to really ask good. Her. Do another one? Yeah. Well, I can tell you. This was actually, they're both actually um, infrared. Uh, in spite of the fact that it okay. says sepia tone, this one is not sepia tone. Uh, but this one is. So they're both infrared. This one is sepia tone. And she, what she said to me, yeah. is that images that have a lot of light areas do not take the, uh, the toning well at all. So most of the images that she has done in sepia tone are, are, have more darker areas than light areas. She's great. I actually have uh, three of her pictures at home. She's really, really good. Any other questions? Maybe about this one? <laughs> <laughs> Scala, um, yes. Color, color, color paper. It was, color no, no, no. Yeah. Scala was the 35 millimeter slide that you put into a machine that Vivitar made to copy slides onto Polaroid film. Oh, that seems okay. so. Then, then when it got onto the Polaroid film, for those of you who know, some of us transfer process, you um, let the Polaroid begin to develop. You wait maybe 10 seconds, then peel it apart, throw away what would be the positive 
take the negative no, board, no, place it down on another surface I used, uh, water, Archer's watercolor paper. I always use my forehead. <laughs> and you apply pressure for, I think, three minutes, peel that apart, and that's what you get. So that's, what you got. that's why you have the sepia color in the sepia color. Straight black and white. Right. It comes from the Polaroid emulsion. It's a color emulsion. So when it transfers, you lose a lot of detail, you lose a lot of color. In this case, I lost all the color, I lost all the black and white. Um, but you gain such a feel. Yeah, the bottom one the bottom reminds me of like an Escher. Oh yes, yeah, you're right. That would have driven me crazy. <laughs> so did you actually cut down, like, you, you cropped them Scissors. physically? Right. <laughs> nice. Scissors. <laughs> And I'm still doing, I, I've given this up, but I, my format is still small, although it's 100% bigger than this. This is two inches by two inches, they're now three inches by three inches. But they're digital and they're sharper. And it's hard for me to, to duplicate the tone, but I've gotten into other tones. And, um, I was going to tell you to come, and, well, here. <laughs> Just happened to have one with me. Mm. This was taken, this was in last month's show, this was taken with my iPhone, actually. Um, so this is more of what I, I do now. So you're doing more work with your iPhone now? No, this I'm, I'm no. <laughs> some, some. Any other questions? Well, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Lawrence. You bet. Thank you. And thank you for helping clean up tonight. I don't know if you knew you were doing it, but <laughs> <laughs> you, they know. <laughs>